Howdy folks, it's me again, your pal Busey. Now a lot of young fellers have been asking me questions about women, you know? Questions like, Busey, when I get my girl, how do I make sure she's mine for good? How do I make darn sure nobody's gonna come along and steal her away from my endearing clutches? Well I tell you right now, if that girl was a pickle or a Snickers bar, and I wanted to make darn sure nobody was gonna come and steal her away from me, I'd just spit on her. But that's beside the point. Fellas, with women, there ain't nothing gonna bind her closer to you than some good love poetry. Original, of course. Gotta be original. Here, let me show you what I mean. Now, this here's a sample of some of my own romantic verses, picked exclusively for their endearing and irresistible qualities. So, without further enjou, which is French for all my uncultured relatives out there, I will now begin my recitation. Roses are red, just like my neck is. I finished this poem while I was eating my breakfast. Notice I didn't say as how violets are blue, cause I'm more interested in expressing how I feel about you. Well, you're finer than sawdust and better than awesome, and I like you more than my mama's homemade southern fried possum. When I see you, my legs get so shaky it's frightening, almost like I'm indulging in a little white lightning. Cause you're sleeker than snot, and just right for cuddling. And you got a kick that can make a daddy mule run. When we're out in the woods, you're a sight to behold. And my jaw hits the ground when I see you pop that ten-point buck off. Uh, in case you hadn't noticed, great poetry doesn't always have to rhyme. Uh, just wanted to make sure you knew that. For a lucky charm, you're better than duct tape. And shinier than the glitter on old Superman's cape. Which I've always suspected is duct tape anyway. Although that doesn't really go along with what I've been trying to say. Well, you just plain top all them women in those fashion magazines. Or them gals that parade around advertising blue jeans. All the birds in the heavens. And all them critters I ate. Can't compare with you, old Betty Lou. My Winchester 308. Well, fellas, I guess that's about it. So, uh, I just really hoped today enlightened you and enriched you. And, and if you have any further questions for me, then... Well, just, just leave a little comment down below in the little comment thingy, and I'll do my best to help you, son. So, until next time, I'm Busey the Redneck. See you around. As you can see, I'm very affected by, by great art.